was exciting but uh, terrifying really to come into IIT Madras. Uh, this place was uh, like Hogwarts, you know, uh, full of really smart people, much smarter than I was. Keep yourself young no matter how old you get because the people you're teaching are always 20, you know, uh, 25 or whatever. You know, the students I teach are, um, without exception, they are smarter than me, right? I mean, you, you know, uh, you constantly interact with these people who are full of energy and full of ideas. My name is Vinod Vaikuntanathan. Uh, I'm a, a 2003 batch uh, BTEC uh, pass out from IIT Madras. So, uh, how does it feel to be? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, how does it feel to be back at IIT Madras, but this time as a DA awardee? Uh, it's overwhelming, really. Uh, I couldn't have known that this was the path I would take when I actually joined IIT Madras. It was, uh, you know, um, like I said in my speech, uh, this place was. Uh, like Hogwarts, you know, uh, full of really smart people, much smarter than I was. So uh, it was exciting, but uh, terrifying really to come into IIT Madras. So from that vantage point, sort of thinking that I would be here sitting uh, doing this is uh, overwhelming. Really. So your favorite hangout spot over here in IIT Madras uh, that you usually go with your friends or, mm. or you just want to have a alone time over here, so what would mm. that be? Uh, coffee in Taramani, uh, Quark. Quark, I don't know if it still exists at this point. Yes, it, was a, it was a small sort of like eating joint, very small. But the good thing is that it would stay open well into the night, like 3 a.m., something like that. And that was, a, you know, I, I'm, I'm a nocturnal being. <laughs> that, that really worked out very well for me. So you were a recipient of MCM scholarship. So how was it and how it helped for you back then when you were a student over here? The tuition was, I think at that point, was 30,000 rupees, something like that. Uh, so they really, I mean, they, they worked really hard, but uh, they could make part of it. But the fact that there was the MCM scholarship was a great help. I mean, it lifted a load out of your shoulders. Um, you know, when you study here, you really want to be focused on your studies and your academics, not so much on sort of other extraneous constraints like finances. So this is a great help. I, I know of uh, several friends of mine who were also sort of also benefited from this program, so it's really great. So one professor or one, it could be a group of professors also, or your friends, who was the one that changed your perspective? It could be a personal or it could be a career. So uh, Sandeep Verma was a, was a friend of mine. Uh, he, uh, we knew each other from before IIT. He was the one that actually told me about IITs that it existed before that I didn't know what what this whole thing was um, and he um, is a he's an amazing mathematician uh, he's now a professor of uh, mathematics at uh, the Tata Institute TIFR uh, so he um, sort of uh, taught me essentially all mathematics I know uh, at IITM we were classmates here uh, and he also told me about classes outside IITM at, uh, at the Math Sciences Institute uh, which I went to and took classes there. Uh, so we, um, I mean, he was really, uh, he played a major role in sort of like starting from me knowing about ITM, knowing about how to get here, um, he told me about brilliant tutorials. And that was, uh, you should do this, and that, that was that. Um, but also, you know, during my time here, he's, uh, he's very instrumental. Uh, also, my, the people who, the friends who I did my, uh, BTEC project with, this was Chandrasekhar Nagarajan was his name, and uh, Arvind Narayanan. Uh, they, we did sort of like research, uh, undergraduate research together. And that was again a major part of uh, sort of my growing up as a sort of a, as a researcher uh, and sort of a bona fide sort of computer scientist. Uh, Pandurangan was uh, is, is legendary, um, and he, um, you know, if you look at the roster of his former students, uh, BTEC project students, also his PhD and MTEC students, uh, it's sort of a who's who, really. I mean, they, they've all done extremely well. Uh, in fact, GDS, I think, was uh, worked with, uh, Ram Kumar worked with uh, CPR as well. Uh, he was a fantastic teacher, it's excellent teacher, he thought out of the box. Uh, but he was also a great research mentor. I mean, at that point, you know, um, there wasn't such widespread internet, you know, uh, you didn't 
quite know what research meant or what was the cutting edge of research or what the right questions to ask are. And he really knew, he had the knack of sort of asking the right questions uh, and sort of, again, sort of setting high standards for us. He was sort of, he would make sure that we sort of come up with results, good results, in fact, great results. Uh, and he would push us hard. And that was very important to us. Uh, so that was one professor. I guess uh, the others I, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, really influenced me are Kamakoti. I mean, he was, uh, he started as an assistant professor about the same time as I was a VTech student here. Um, an extremely energetic person. I mean, uh, he's a fantastic teacher as well. Uh, and uh, Dilip Birrakavan was, uh, he's no more, unfortunately, uh, but he was a professor of uh, humanities and a professor of history uh, here. Um, uh, but much more than being a professor, he was a friend to, uh, to many of us. Um, you know, just hang out in his office, you know, randomly, you know, after class, you know, hear Carnatic music, uh, and he would tell us sort of fun days about life and uh, you know, politics and music and so forth. That was sort of a different um, um, sort of angle from the sort of the traditional IIT technical, you know, sort of like courses, research type of thing. Sort of a humanistic side of, uh, of IIT that was very, very important. Uh, especially as I grow sort of older, you appreciate these things far more. So you being a professor, did you take uh, inspiration from these people, these professors I, that you mentioned? I would like to think so. I'd like to think so. Um, uh, you know, uh, from CPR, from Bandurangan, uh, the idea of sort of uh, working with undergraduates and sort of like just believing in them and uh, doing research with them, I think that really came from CPR. Um, and, uh, and sort of the idea of supporting students, um, you know, uh, not just in academics, but sort of in a, in a wider sense, uh, that was Kama's influence. Um, uh, you know, and, and Dilip, I think it's hard to put into words, sort of it's so ingrained in me that uh, it's hard to put into words. He was, uh, he was a tremendous person and we still feel his loss, uh, you know, in this time. So one piece of advice or uh, if you could share your thought, thoughts and wisdoms to a current student who wants to pursue some, some uh, teaching field, like professor, yes. who wants to become professor. So what that would be that you would share with them? The choice of a career is a very personal sort of question. But to me, um, teaching is, is a supremely satisfying endeavor. It's sort of like you are, you keep yourself young no matter how old you get because the people you're teaching are always 20, you know, uh, 25 or whatever. Uh, and, you know, um, you know, the students I teach are, um, without exception, they are smarter than me, right? I mean, you, you know, uh, you constantly interact with these people who are full of energy and full of ideas. Um, that is exactly where I want to be. Uh, so that's about research, but also classes, right? I mean, you, you meet these people who are um, sort of hungry for to learn more, you know, um, that is sort of what I, the very first time if I had to trace back this feeling of teaching being very satisfying came from IIT Madras actually, uh, where I taught um, kids in uh, Velachery and Taramani, you know, math, I think as part of uh, the NSS program here. Uh, that was really formative. I mean, uh, the, the amount of satisfaction you get from teaching, in my opinion, is, is unparalleled. Thank you, thank you, sir, for this wonderful interview. Thank you.